hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the attribute called inherent permission attribute right so uh, what happened is like last last week uh, i was working with one of my user and uh, because i have two users in the business central let me show you so this is one of the super user and this is one of the normal user like who does not have all the permissions of the processes of the business center only few basic thing login access and uh, sales processes and that's it right so what i did is that uh, if i show you my extension here that uh, this is my table log entry which is a custom table and it has very few minimal fields like entry number document number and posting date and so i created a page of it as well and then uh, in the customer extension uh, what i did it is on the on after get current record trigger i made one method called find log and when uh, in the find log there is nothing like i just wrote, wrote down some uh, some code but just to show you in an easy way in this video uh, i have written only one line which is log entry dot find first that means i want to find some record from my log entry table and then want to process something okay so when i was publishing this and uh, when uh, like if i have to uh, because the extension is currently installed so let me show you the log entry table as well okay so if i open here log entry list so it has currently two records right so if i open the customer page here now with the super user there is no problem at all but in case uh, the person the user who don't acquire the super user rights if i click on customers here then i will get this error sorry the current permissions prevented the action table data log entry is hit perfectly fine because it does not have the read permissions or the insert permissions of the table so i'm getting this error right so what i did is that if i show you the users page and just to simplify the things i have created one permission set okay so this is the permission set which i have created and if i show you the permissions so it has only one uh, table data like which is our table log entry and it has the indirect read indirect write and everything so that means uh, this user have the indirect permissions of the table that means this user cannot directly access the table directly access the records but in case this user is doing some stuff and in between of that uh, that uh, table that code runs which actually uh checking the records of the log entry table which is in our case okay so these permissions are not working at the moment okay so how to handle such situations where your user who don't have the right of that particular dedicated table which is written in the code but uh, that user we should not assign even the direct permissions of this table we cannot assign but we want that user to go ahead with the customer records at least for the read permissions because the customer have the because the user have the permissions of the customer table and everything so in those scenarios uh, there is a property there is an attribute called inherent permissions which will help us right to avoid the errors for all the users who does not have the direct access of those particular custom tables okay so what we have to do is that for example whichever method is calling uh, those uh, those tables which the user does not have the direct access so in those procedures we can add one attribute called inherent permissions okay and the parameters it takes is the permission object type the object id and the permissions so how to write this like first is permission object type and we can select here that we want to go ahead with the table data right so we want that any user who does not have the direct access of this log entry table okay if they are accessing the customer list page and when this method will run they will not get an error 
okay because i want that every user should have at least the read writes because if the read writes are not there then this line of code will give you an error okay so table data is the first parameter then comma and then uh, we have to provide the access of our table which is the log entry okay and then whatever permissions you want to assign will like read insert modify delete like if you want to rimd or only ri or only r depending on what line of codes are written here which will run based on the uh, process which you are developing okay and you don't want this process to be hindered at any cost for any user okay so in that way you can assign the permissions here with this inherent permission attribute right so with this line of code only no user will get an error and your process will run smoothly so let's test this up and what i do here publish this okay So as you have seen my extension is published successfully and now I am on this user who is not super user right like if I show you so this was my user right let me refresh it So this is my user who don't have the super rights but now if i click on the customers and you can see that i'm not getting any error right so this is all happening because of just this line of code which we have written above our procedure inherent permissions attribute so for all those scenarios where you will get such errors and you don't want your codes to stop for any user whether that user have direct permissions of that table or indirect permissions of that table so for all those scenarios my suggestion is that you start using the inherent permissions attribute and uh, your process will run smoothly so with that thing uh, let me end the today's video thank you very much for watching this video in case you like it please hit the like button and Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.